Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. This is the first video I've made since I had a fall on the ice a couple of weeks ago and so I can't sit for very long but I'm just going to try and make my video and I've already pre-cut a few things just to save me time sitting down. So please forgive me for not doing everything on camera. And I'm going to make a card using the Parisian Beauty and you can make such a lot of different cards from this. I love all the sentiments. Life is a magnificent adventure. When I first looked at this, I thought, oh, it's like a, an anniversary card set or a, a Valentine's set. But actually, once you include these and follow your heart, it will take you to incredible places. Once you include those kind of sentiments, it's one of those more versatile stamp sets. And my card is going to be, as I said, quite a quick little card. I've got my petal pink already scored and cut. And if you check out my blog, you'll find all the measurements are going to be on there. So I've got my petal pink and I'm using some of the really pretty paper that goes with this Parisian suite. And in this, there's paper, there's beautiful ribbon, there are champagne rhinestones, dies, stamps, um, and another set of stamps that has flowers on and dies for that as well. And it really is a very, very pretty suite. But I've chosen just a little bit of the DSP paper. It's only a two inch piece of paper, um, but it will give such a nice effect on the card. You don't always have to cover the whole of your card with papers. Sometimes just a little bit gives you the, the piece that you need. And I've also got a piece of berry vanilla for the front and I want to put just a tiny piece of that ribbon across here. So I'm going to add tear and tape on the back so that I can stick my ribbon down. If you use the wet glue, I find that it makes the ribbon really sort of wet and sticky. And it, sometimes the dye will come out, but it doesn't always stick very, very well. So I like to use tear and tape when I'm attaching ribbon. Okay. Now, I just want to make sure that I get it fairly straight. So I'm gonna turn it over. And I don't really mind where it's going to be. So I'm going to line this up on my grid paper and make sure my ribbon's lined up as well. Let's move that a little bit further along. Whoops. Keep that straight. And I'm just going to turn over the ribbon. And it's in the second square down from the main line. So I'm just going to make this be in the second square as well. Fold it over. And I know that's as level as I need it to be. Okay, so then I'm going to attach this to here and this time I am going to use my wet glue but actually I think I'm going to put all my pieces on first. That might make it just a bit quicker and easier. I've got a little piece of the champagne foil. It's just a quarter of an inch strip. Oh, I'm going to have to put this on the front because I've got all that tear tape on. So let's go back to the original plan. Put this on the front and although I'm using pinks on this it still can be used for a masculine card it's not one of those where pink just wouldn't work okay so now I'm going to have my little bit of champagne and my little piece of DSP that has the Eiffel Tower with the metallic champagne color and I just want that to offset at the left hand side. I only want a tiny, bit of it, tiny little bit of it showing. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna attach it to the paper. Put glue all the way around because I know it's all gonna stick down in a minute. And I'm just gonna put this on the very edge. Let's have a look make sure that it's level at the top and the bottom. And the beauty of wet glue is that it doesn't dry straight away. You have a minute or two just to move the paper around a little bit. And I'll just put a little bit down there. And then I'm going to 
going to add this over towards the left hand side and again I'm going to use my grid paper to line up and my um, champagne foil I'm going to put it at the one two third square along let's see and I'll make sure that at the bottom it's at the third square too and that way I know it's level oops just move my card a little bit there let's just there it is okay and then next I used the die that goes with this Parisian beauty set and I only used the outer die, the big one. I used this one. I didn't use this one. That's the one that cuts out the stamp. But I used this one that has all the detail. But I did find that when I put it through the die cutting machine, I needed a little shim on it. It wouldn't cut everything out on my machine straight away. So I just put an extra little piece of card on top and ran it through again and this is how it turns out. Now I did also have to use my die cutting brush to get all those little pieces out. So it is a, a little bit of a labour of love, but once it's out, it's really, really pretty. And this is going to go over to the, sort of more to the right hand side than the middle of my card. And I'm going to put it on with wet glue. Oh, here's some little pieces, look, that still haven't come out. I thought I'd got them all. So I'm putting it on with my wet glue. You could put it on with little pieces of dimensionals if you wanted. That works as well. But I don't want mine to be too raised. I just want to have it sort of flat on my card. And anywhere where I see a bigger piece of card showing, that's where I'm going to pop my glue. There we go. And I think that should stick it. And then I want it to go slightly off centre. And I'm just going to hold it for a second or two just to make sure all the level, all the little areas where I've put the glue are all sticking down. There we go. Okay. And then I use the next die and I use this one. The Amour one. There is also a Mercy one. So if you wanted to make it a thank you card rather than a card that said, you know, love or anything, you can make it a thank you card. And here's the little Mercy one. But I want to make it into an anniversary card. So I'm just going to put this over the top. Now, there isn't a lot of space on here to put dimensionals or anything. And that's fine for my card because I want it to be flat. But if you wanted it to stand out a little bit more, what you could do is cut it out maybe three or four times and glue it together. And that would give you just a little bit more dimension so that when you put it on there, it would be raised just a tiny bit. But for mine, I'm going to just attach it with glue. And I'm sorry I've missed some days and not put a video on. I say this, this past couple of weeks has been a little bit difficult for me. Uh, I can't sit very well after falling on my bum. And uh, so it's been just hard to sit down and to find a, a comfortable spot to sit while I'm crafting. Okay. Now, while that dries, I'm going to do my inside. I want to stamp something for the inside and I also want to decorate my envelope. So I've got another piece of the Very Vanilla and that's going to go inside and my Very Vanilla envelope as well. And what I've chosen to use is the stamp with the Eiffel Tower, the little sentiment here that says um, about love. Um, let me see what that says. I love you till my heart could burst. Okay, It's quite small. I'm not expecting that anybody can read it really well. I just want the, the sentiment to be there in the background. 
and I've chosen the two colours that are in the card. So I've chosen Petal Pink and Cherry Cobbler. Oops. I'm going to get them both ready. Okay. And I need a little piece of scrap as well. So I just want to see how this stamp of the Eiffel Tower, how strong it is and with the colours because I don't know if I'm going to do stamping off I'm not quite sure yet but I'm going to try on here first oh I think I like stamped off so let's stamp this up again I've got a little hair on there a little piece of paper or something there we go when it's these big ones usually it's better to turn the stamp pad over like this Oops keep it closed because you can make sure that you've stamped everything then okay so I'm going to stamp off once and then I'm going to put it on the front of my envelope because I know that it just just fits okay and then let's do the same for the inside stamp off and then I'm going to stamp it Oops. now I've got pink pink ink on there so I'm just going to turn it over stamp here oh that didn't stamp very well did it uh, let's try on the pink ink side this colour anymore. I'm going to try with the petal pink with the writing. And if I don't like the petal pink then I might go back to the cherry cobbler. Right, let's see. Oh no, I like that petal pink. I'm going to do the oh, let's see what it's like stamped off though. I think I like it stamped off. So let's stamp on there stamp this off and then I just want it to go through the Eiffel Tower and off to the side just like that and let's see let's oh I don't know that I could get another one on put all my writing on so I'm going to do it on my envelope though and my envelope is not going through the mail so that's okay and then last of all I want this little sentiment that says, you're the joy of my life. And I want it to go just down at the bottom here, but I think I'd like it in the cherry cobbler. Let's see how that is. Yeah, okay. I'll just put my card like this, and try and get it fairly level without putting my head on the camera. And then this, I'm just going to attach it on the inside here. Okay. It's not my best stamping. It's not as level as I like. But it's the best stamping I can do today. <laughs> Sitting in this chair. there we are if you wanted to add a little bit more bling you could put on some of the um, little rhinestones the champagne rhinestones and just add sort of three of the rhinestones or you could also use one of the other dies let me get it this one which makes a nice little flourish so if you had that cut out you could certainly put it behind the um, the Eiffel Tower here or behind the card so that it was near the ribbon. I think that would look pretty too. So that's my very quick, very easy stamping for today. Uh, I hope you like it. And again, my apologies that I haven't been online for a week or so and that I haven't been making any cards. 
But thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.